All right, guys, I've got some exciting, good news for us ACA agents that do things the right way. We do not steal other agents' accounts. We don't AOR blatantly other agents' accounts. All right, I'm going to share with you an email that I got today, and I've had a bunch of people email me, Luis, do the video on this. Luis, start spreading the news. All right, I'm going to share with you the email that I got, and I'm going to share with you the ads that I have taken that where these agents are using these deceptive practices. All right, so before I do that, make sure you like, comment, and I do respond myself, and Subscribe to my channel. Share this with other agents. All right, let's talk. Let's let's talk about these these agents that are doing these deceptive practices. So let's go look at the ads that they are using. All right, here we go. All right, so here's a, I just real quickly went into my Facebook and I found these ads. So let's check them out, guys. All right. These things, all right, here we go. Let's get them on the right screen here so you guys can see them. Hold on here. Okay, so here are a bunch of the ads, guys. So they're advertising here a $500 Visa, free Visa gift card. You know damn well there's no free Visa gift card. All right, look at this one. Another one, and they're using the Ambetter logo, and they're, they're saying a get free $500 Visa gift card. A bunch of crap. All right. This one here is doing the, what is it like? Here's another $500 Visa gift card. Is this guy giving away a trip? No, I don't think so. Okay. Another $500. This is uh, another $500 one. Um, here's another, man, and you you idiot, you, you, I'm calling you all idiots, you agents that go to this organization, all they're doing is they're using the same ad for everybody. They're not even being creative and you guys are paying good money to be part of that organization and move your contracts when you know that they're doing this kind of scam man shame on you agents all right look at this one five hundred dollar visa gift card and we'll give you a trip voucher really all right how about this one get your free five hundred dollar visa gift card you, you know it's oh and this one you get the trip look at that beautiful these are the types of ads that are being used out there, okay? All right, so let's close this out. Let's look at the email. All right, here is the email. So it was sent out to agents that are appointed with Ambetter, and they're fighting back. We're going to win this battle. We're going to make those agents. We need to make their lives miserable, guys. We need to put them out of business, okay? So you guys, we all have to band together. We're turning all these agents in that do this especially after we talk to our insurance and they don't actually recall giving them authorization to do this. So here's what the email says. And Better Health wants to ensure that we're supporting our brokers while keeping the members' best interests at the forefront of everything we do. Hell yeah. We are seeing an increase in, the, in member enrollment complaints stemming from misleading advertisers. Those 500, that $500 free gift card that is a misleading advertisement. You freaking agents that are using it, you know that, okay? And lack of communication from the broker making the enrollment. I, I bet you won't even take their call because you're advertising that and you know they're not going to get it. The lack of guidance can leave a member confused. Well, of course, you know, they want that $500 and without the best and without the best health coverage option for themselves and their family. So you're pretty much, they're, all they want is that $500 and you're enrolling them in a plan and you're probably using the lowest possible income to get them a $0 health plan and you don't even know if they have that income, okay? And, and on top of that, they're gonna get screwed at tax time. In some cases, members have been unable to obtain services like scheduled surgeries or have incurred administrative issues with premium payments, claims, and access to in-network providers. Man, you guys, God. All right, here are some examples of these deceptive advertisements that they are aware of. And guess what I did? All of these pictures have been sent up to all these companies. I sent these to Ambetter so they are aware. Guys, we've got to band together. All right, online ads placed by a lead generation company 
asking the member to check a box and provide personal information to enroll in the best no cost plan without ever speaking to a broker. Oh, that is the finger to you no call agents. Yes, God, I hope they start cranking down harder on this and taking your ability to write and take and cancel your appointment with these carriers. Ads offering government allowances up to $1,400 a month for healthcare and everyday needs. Really? You know they don't do that. Okay, ads offering $500 Visa gift cards and free health insurance with the and Better Health logo. Man, rats. You know they're not doing that. Okay, but those guys that are doing that, I will tell you, I know who they are. Everywhere they go, they, 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 they're horrible. They're, they're, you know what? Mm. All right. To protect our members and broker community, we expect and better brokers to engage directly with our clients. Hell yes, we should be talking to them. Okay. Communicating via phone, email, text message. There should be some form of communication. We do not endorse nor condone practices collect consumer information and some version of consent via online forms or ads to be appropriate or valid sales practices. All right, man, this is happening, guys. This is good. And better health logos and copy should only be used in pro with only be used in prior approved ad placements. Talk to us first. Huh, I bet none of you guys that are using that ad talk to Ambitter about that $500 Visa gift card. Hmm? I bet the guys that created this crap didn't do the same thing. All right, so here's what you do, guys. You see this email down here? Turn these guys in. Send, a, take a copy of their ad. Okay, it's a sponsored ad. All you got to do is you yourself click on it. Okay, get them to call you. Uh, uh, you, you know, pretend that you're a client, get their information, find out who that agent is and turn them in. You, you got to play along with this. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, when I see that next ad pop up, I'm going to click it. A lot of times I just click it just to drive up their cost, but I'll click it and I'll put their information, my information on there. They call me or, or I pretend that I'm somebody else. And, uh, you know, what is your name, Mr. Agent? Okay. I get their name information. I can hunt down their NPN because I know what license, what state they're licensed in, and then turn them into Ambitter. Okay, take a picture of their ad. We've got a band together because you know I do right. I I teach the all the agents that work with me to do it right. I teach our agents put a good ad out there, communicate with your insurance. Okay, find out what their needs are, get their docs, get their meds get the accurate household information, get the accurate income information, and use that to find a plan that's going to help them out. Okay? Some of you guys are wondering, why does, why does a client only stay for one or two months? Well, you may not be enrolling them in the best possible plan. I don't have crazy, awful attrition. My, my business sticks. Usually, the, 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 the clients that I'm losing is because I'm getting, they're getting stolen by those agents. All right? All right, I, I've been sending, oh, I have one guy so good at handling complaints. We've got somebody at CMS, we've got somebody or at healthcare.gov, and we send three or four uh, emails out with this agent information. And now you can find out who the agent is. You know that on Health Sherpa, there is transparency now, okay? You have the original agent that wrote it, the assister. See, hold on here. You have the assister, then you have the submitting agent, and then down below in Hell Sherpa, there's this, there's a box, and that is the AOR. Okay. If your account got stolen, you're going to see the other person's name. Get them, guys. All right. This is good news. Really good news. Hopefully, we can write business and retain it. You know, you can't control clients not paying, clients making the decision to leave or, or, or cancel their plan. We can't control that. But the one thing we can try to put a stop on is these agents stealing our book of business. So do what you can guys do what you can. And, uh, you know, let's see if we can put them out of business. Yeah. That's all I got to say, guys. I think this is good news for us. We're going to have a hell of a AC enrollment year. So a lot of you guys, you don't work with me and I'm venting guys. I get so frustrated with these agents that do nothing but steal. 
Um, you know what? If, if they put enough energy into just doing good ads and writing business, they'd be all right. But they'd rather steal the hard work that other agents do. And, and I'm just like, man, I'd like to find you. All right. Anyway. All right, guys. Have a good one. Uh, don't forget, like. I'll comment. I hope I get some good comments. And the third one is subscribe to my channel. Share me to other agents, to your other colleagues. Thank you, guys.